Active flow control uses a variety of methods such as jets of air or even electric discharges to shape or sculpt the flow of air over an aircraft. It can alter the roll, pitch, and yaw without needing conventional control surfaces like flaps, rudders, and ailerons. A plasma actuator can delay laminar to turbulence transition. It can also delay or eliminate flow separation and thus improve aerodynamic performance of aircraft. There are different kinds of plasma actuators, such as a dielectric barrier discharge plasma actuator, a surface corona discharge plasma actuator, and a spark jet plasma actuator. A dielectric barrier discharge plasma actuator, or DBD for short, creates a body force that causes the boundary layer fluid particles to gain velocity, which speeds up the airflow and allows it to reattach with the surfaces. A surface corona discharge actuator consists of two facing electrodes. A high DC voltage is applied to one electrode, and the other electrode is typically grounded. When the electrodes are plates, corona discharges occur at both electrodes, inducing a deflected jet. A spark jet actuator is a special type of zero-net mass flux actuator driven thermodynamically by pulsed arc spark discharge. Compared to widely investigated mechanical synthetic jet actuators driven by vibrating diaphragms or oscillating pistons, plasma spark jet actuators exhibit the unique capability of producing high-velocity pulse jets at greater than 300 meters per second and with a high frequency of greater than 5 kHz, makes it tailored for a high Reynolds number and high-speed flow control for aerospace engineering. Active flow control allows an aircraft to be as smooth and sleek as possible, making it safer for the military to fly in dangerous areas where radar scans the sky for sharp edges. It could also be used to make commercial airplanes more fuel efficient by removing existing steering parts that create drag.